So here's another Templars uh, chapel here. And you can see on the map where it is. It is in Bras, B-R-A-S. And the whole area here is the Templars commandery, apparently. Here you can read it in English. Yeah. Just punch pause. So here's the, uh, this is the chapel. Here's in French. The Bethlehem Chapel from the 13th century. And uh, this is in the Provence, so it's, it's in this area north of Marseille. Uh, yeah. So apparently, the whole, this, everything here is a, used to be a commandery. And this here is the chapel. Funny hole here. Anybody there? Nobody there. So this here is the chapel. Old thing here. It's an interesting door here. Nice construction. And uh, apparently this whole everything here was the commandery. Not people living here. Everything this here. There's the back side of the chapel. Oh, look. Here's the other side. Some ancient doors. It's a garden of the chapel. the chapel. Yeah. So all this here used to be the old commandery of the Templars apparently. Uh, well it's now just people living here. And, uh, 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 it's the chapel, and there's also the commandery here. And uh, so yeah, I'll tell you one more time. The uh, the Templars, they were no monks, but they were the aristocracy. But they were the there's a law in the aristocracy which is called the primogenitura that means only the first son gets everything and the second and the third sons they didn't get anything so they they were quite angry you know that's why there were so many conspiracies going on and uh backstabbings poisonings and for them there was a uh, a tradition to go into a monastery which is a temple of god so they said we are the templars and we're going to make a new system that every one of us can be the king for a period of four, five or seven years. And we're going to vote. We call it the New World Order. And the Old World Order was the old feudal system of the first son. And, uh, yeah, so they said, well, we can't vote, you know, because we all know what's going on. And one of them said, well, we let the people vote, the demos, because they know they're never going to understand. They're so stupid. And, uh, so this is the democracy, which is not for us, but for our lords, so they can be elected democratically. And you see all the pyramids on it, on the arch? It would be interesting to count them all. Will you do that for me? There's a reason. They don't put it for nothing. They know that from the pharaohs. You know, so look at the other film, the Templar itinerary. And... Um, for the whole story. I'm not going to repeat it all the time. And five years ago they found out with the um, genetic analysis that more than 50% uh, of the French and the Europeans in general, and the Americans I suppose, uh, have uh, pharaonic genetics. And we ask ourselves, well how is this possible? Pharaohs over there from uh, Europe here. Well it's because of the first rite, the Jus Primi Noctis, on the first night of the marriage, the Lord it, they force the women to 
to have the first night with them. And this is how they injected their genetics, uh, pharaonic genetics, into the whole of our women. And that's why their descendants, the Freemasons, because the Templars they were a military order, they needed a, um, a political wing and they found that the Freemasons were everywhere on key positions. And that's why their descendants, the Freemasons, they always show pyramids, obelisks, Isis, the all-seeing eye, Horus, the, the whole thing, you know. So that's why they take decisions who are not very favorable of the white race, of the Europeans, you know, because they are Egyptians. We're being ruled by a, a, a foreign power in secret lodges, and they're all aristocrats. So all this was a Templar's commandery. Now people living here. That's where they had the stables. Yeah. Oh dear. And the uh, well, the chapel is just there to the right. After this building, to the right. And now here's the chapel from the other side. There's not really much to see actually. That looks like a very old staircase. It's the most impressive. So they are the winemakers here. And the Templars were the winemakers. Yeah, and that's why two times the Templars be here, like V for Victory, you know. They know what they're doing. It belongs to the Masons now. Okay? Still belongs to them. You know, they talk about a war between the Reds and the Whites, you know, which is the, the Red House of the Pharaohs and the White House. Of course, the names were not given by the people, but by them. You know, so it's all pharaonic. <laughs>